probably the first thing we should ask ourselves when we find something online is who posted this? Mainstream media, social media, even me and you, we all have biases, reasons for sharing things and particularly things we want to highlight or would rather other people didn't see. When a journalist or broadcaster writes a story, it's at least possible to check who and what their influences are. Unfortunately, the same is often not true for online, where fake and anonymous sources can share content without concern, either for the damage they might cause or fear of repercussions. Computer-generated profile pictures and well-drafted websites or business profiles mean we have to look a little deeper if you want to find out who's really behind things online. Is there a named person behind the post or are they using a pseudonym? The more we know about the person or organization behind the post, the better picture we can get about what they stand to gain by posting the information. Social media lives or dies based on how much our attention it can keep, which can sometimes create an environment where bold claims and shocking news outcompete more measured responses, and where sometimes being first can be more important than being right. Simple question to ask yourself, what's the evidence? Is it a photo, a video? Has the evidence been altered or is it taken out of context? Ask yourself, are you getting the full picture? One technique that makes professional fact checkers more effective at sorting out truth from fiction is something called lateral reading. Lateral reading means leaving a source and checking via other sources. We have to leave a site to understand it. They might not be selling you a car, but the worst sources of misinformation are trying to get you to buy into their ideas.